Okay, so uh, this is Shane Armand Rowe with Review Lagoon. Um, I have here a standard Nook Color. This is not the Nook tablet, this is the original Nook Color. And this has had uh, ice cream sandwich put on it by the way of the AOKP Custom ROM. And I thought I would take you on a little tour just to see just how well this works. The home button still works as the home button. So even if the uh, unit's powered off, um, I'll power it back on and you can see it's got the standard ice cream sandwich lock screen and of course if you're off somewhere else this will take you the end will take you back to the home soft keys exist down here these do um, when OpenGL is rendering a game or something we'll show you this in a minute you will see that um, these shrink down they're kinda still usable but you always have the end to get you out of a title uh, should you need to um, and of course uh, you see the standard notification bar that is used in ice cream sandwich you have some custom toggles the whole bit all of the AOKP custom toggles and whatnot are available here as well and I'm sorry you get to listen to Pokemon in the background alright so let's take a quick look here um, we're running low on power but I should have enough to get through the demo uh, as you can see responsiveness is pretty good now currently I have this overclocked using um, AOKP's built-in uh, overclocking and here's the drawer you can see it's you know it's not silky smooth but what do you want this is like a you know $150 tablet at best so we'll go to settings and we will go to uh, let's see the ROM control and here's where you'll see um, make sure I don't let this scroll off here you can go down to set CPU performance so you can see I've got it set for a maximum of 1.2 gigahertz and minimum of 200 if you wanted to increase that you could change uh, the governor to be a, a performance setting governor where it tries to uh, work at a higher speed more of the time you could set your minimum down to like 600 or 800 where um, there's never going to be any uh, holdup but of course you'll you'll spend battery doing that but here's all the other cool uh, stuff that uh, AOKP gives you all right back to the home screen um, and there we go yes I know I'm running out of power all right so let's take a look at this um, we'll take a look at just a couple of uh, basic titles um, first we'll look at shine runner this is a pretty fairly high performance kind of a game so this will be an actual good example now you'll notice down here that all of the buttons shrunk and I believe the developers are aware that that's the case but if you've never played Shine Runner, this is a fairly fast action racing game, and it plays remarkably well. We're going to go to the options. Oops, not credits. Settings. And we'll take a look at the graphics settings. Right now it's set for 3 of 10, so uh, you know you can change to higher graphics or lower graphics. This is what I ended up uh, sticking with was 3 stars. And uh, we'll play, and I'll just give you kind of a look at how this looks and how this runs on this guy. This is tilting left and right by touching the sides of the screen. And as you can see, it moves along pretty dang well for a very cheap tablet. Um, and of course, you could, uh, again, play with the uh, CPU settings. You could also play with um, uh, the governor, as well as some other things, to try to get yourself better performance. But as you can see, uh, it's not bad at all, considering um, exactly what this little unit has inside or under the hood. So anyway, there you go. There's Shine Runner. And we'll climb out of there. We'll go back to standard uh, orientation. Well, let's here. We can stay here. That's fine. Actually, probably look better. Uh, of course, just like Ice Cream Sandwich, you can bring up your list of running tasks, swipe them out of the way. And I had some emulators running here. We're going to go ahead and close those off. And we'll get rid of Shine Runner as well. Perfect. Now we're ready to move on. Uh, let's take a look at um, uh, emulation. We're going to use the Wii controller that works with all the Brolia um, emulators. We'll start with NESMU. And let's make sure that Bluetooth is indeed on. We'll hit scan. Hit the two buttons on the Wii controller. And we'll sync up. Excellent. We are synced up. So now I can use the controller without having my hand in the way. And uh, we'll try standard old Super Mario Brothers. As you can, oops, as you can see, there's a, uh, a little frame rate droppage. Now you might be able to go into the emulator and uh, tidy this up just a little bit. Um, and, but overall, you will see, and it, of course, it, oops, wrong button. You, it'll also depend on the game, too, of course. Uh, but this is a pretty straightforward, simple game. Um, but again, 
I don't know why I can't play this. But anyway, um, so there you go. You can see uh, some of the performance hit that you'll take with that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and head back out of here. We'll head over to, say, the, um, the Genesis emulator. And again, we'll sync up the Wii controller. And it's amazing because this unit really doesn't have a Bluetooth radio in it. It's not supposed to be Bluetooth ready. But amazingly enough, it still works remarkably well. Which it probably shouldn't. Okay, so let's see. Recent games. Mortal Kombat 3. And as you can see, it plays remarkably decent. It's hard, really hard to play this with a Wii controller, but... There's not quite enough buttons. Hey, stop that. But as you can see, it moves along pretty well. Actually, it seems to be better than the NES emulator. But not too shabby. Alright, so we'll get back out of here. And we'll take a look at one more emulator, probably before my battery goes dead. We'll look at the um, Turbo Graphics emulator. See if I can bring this back a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we'll sync up the controller. And uh, are you enjoying the Pokemon episode behind us? Because I know I am. All right, controller connected. Load a game. Oops, we we'll go recent games. And uh, here we are playing Gal uh, Galaga 90. And you can definitely see an occasional frame rate hit. My guess is, is if you played around with some of the settings and whatnot, that it would uh, be a little more suitable. Unfortunately, um, you know, this is just a, a fairly underpowered little guy, this uh, Nook Color. Um, but if what you're wanting to do is surf the web and check email and whatnot using Ice Cream Sandwich, then um, this is a pretty nice little deal to be able to do this. Alright, and uh, let's see what else. Um, oops. As you can see, like I said, the UI moves around pretty dang good for, um, for being uh, what it is. Oh, of course, we have to do the proverbial Angry Birds as well. So how does Angry Birds play? It plays fair, fair to decent. Again, um, this is a fairly underpowered tablet, and it's running an operating system that is considerably higher than it should be for this guy. So just do the basic deal. You can tell how much I play this game, blah, blah, blah. All right, and off we go. And as you can see, it plays pretty much as well as you expect it to do on a low-end tablet. A little stutter here, a little stutter there. Now this does not have Ice Cream Sandwich's um, GPU rendering turned on, so that might get us a little bit more performance too. And again, if you play around with the uh, CPU settings, you could probably get this considerably smoother. But you know, what's the fun of having a tablet if it's dead all the time, right? Uh, so there you go. There's sort of a, a general look at um, the tablet, the Nook Color, running the new AOKP ROM. Uh, playing, you know, some basic stuff. Chrome doesn't appear to work, and I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but your standard browsers work absolutely fine. Um, you won't have any problems with those. Uh, of course, Flash works and all that good stuff. So, um, and we're on Wi-Fi here, so no problems. Um, again, you know, this is a fairly little underpowered tablet. But if you're just absolutely jonesing to get some. Uh, some uh, ice cream sandwich and of course uh, ads aren't blocked in here or anything so that's also going to slow things down a little bit um, but yeah I mean CNN's kind of a heavy site anyway um, but there you go there's a pretty good overview and I um, hope you enjoyed the video this is Shane Armandro with Review Lagoon we'll see you next time <laughs>